Hello everyone, welcome to what is new in season 2 video series by Dragon Punk. And today in the series we are going to be covering how to set up your Nitrato server. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I will preface this by saying you will need a good text editor and a good um, FTP client. We do recommend Notepad++, which would be here, and FileZilla here. So that's what I'm going to be using for this video. So we'll go ahead and just close those out now. Those will be linked in the description below. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get started. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up this web page here, which is our Dragon Punk Season 2 Server Cluster Setup Guide. It's what it is, basically a link to our Google Doc, which is a little more robust in the way we set it up for um, the explanations on how everything works. Now this is set up for like between dev and a dev, so it's a little dry on, on reading, but this is highly recommended, almost required reading for any admin that's going to be using our full setup uh, for season two. So without further ado, click on this link here, go, uh, then you're going to come up to this. Once you come here, oh, that's a cool looking picture. Once you come down, you're going to come down to season two setup. Once you're here, you're going to download crystalisles.art, any file zip folder, download those to a season two files, um, file that you created on your, on your desktop. Once those are done, click on the mod collection, and once it comes up, hit subscribe to all. That way this will be downloaded in the background for you while we're doing all the rest of this. So now we go back to this. Once we've downloaded these, we're going to minimize this. We're going to come into our, our, our thing, our thing here. We are going to extract the, both of these into this folder. And the way you do that is you double click on them, go up to extract, go to extract all and then just hit extract, which I've already done. If I hit extract now, it'll say replace files destination. There, and they're done. And then do that with the other one as well. Once those are done, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one and go into the any files. We, there's some things we need to change in there first before we do anything else. So once you come in, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change your server admin password, one, two, three, four five six seven eight once that's changed we're gonna scroll down to the name of the server my dragon punk grand adventure there we go that's a good name for a server uh so we'll leave that there uh make sure your max player count matches your server what it's set here change your message of the day to what you want and the duration that you want it to be and then you want to scroll down a little further down until we get to auction house now when you get down here you're going to look for this which is market id everything else is fine you don't need to change it on this market id is very important in what it does it keeps your server separate from all the other servers on the auction house uh, network if you have a unique ID, if you do not, your your auction house will be thrown in with hundreds of others, and that is going to really affect the way your um, your prices and everything on the auction house. It'll really affect everything in gameplay and could unbalance your whole server. So I would suggest just type just putting in one. You're supposed to use numbers, so we're gonna go backwards eight seven there that is our unique id for right now you click save and we're done with that one now that's done now we're going to move on to now we need to ftp so go to your uh your ftp of choice and go ahead and open it but what we'll need to do before that so we can close that out we're going to need to open your web portal and your web portal is going to look like this and you can access it from nitrato.com you log in with your your everything go down to my servers on the list 
and then click on the gears to the right hand side of your server and it should come up now when your server comes up this right here at the top it's going to say server started if your server has been installed if it hasn't you'll need to install it you'll need to get with nitro to, to on how to do that they have very good facts and tutorials that show that step by step how to set up a server but this is going to say started you're going to need to say stop and there'll be a red button if your server is started there'll be a red button here this says stop server you'll click it a pop-up will come up and say are you sure you want to do this click yes stop server and then this whole area up here is going to turn gray and when it turns gray it's going to say server stopping server and once it's done it'll go back to this and it'll look just like the screen here and it'll say Cur server currently stopped here once you get to this point the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn your server to an expert server we use this for a uh, very good reason so what we'll do is we'll go down to general and then we're going to click on expert mode when you click on expert mode a pop-up box is going to going to pop up it's going to say are you sure you want to do this 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 changes the web portal blah 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 you're going to click yes now this is a different mode for the web portal even though it looks very close to the same it's not so it adds this part here expert saving saving uh, settings and it changes about 20 or 30 lines in the base settings for um for the general it removes all those settings and they can only be performed in the expert settings so now that we've got that done the server is stopped we need to go back to the dashboard of the server now that expert mode is turned on and you want to scroll down to the bottom where it says FTP credentials start up your FTP client and you'll want to add your host your username and password and your port and you can click quick connect here um, all this information here's your host, here's your port, here's your username and password uh, you can click the eyeball to show it for yourself um, you can hit quick connect and what that does is that'll actually pull up an FTP uh, a basic FTP in your um, browser which is not very intuitive is very hard to use don't I don't recommend it some people like it I don't so um, once you add all these into FileZilla to here which I've already done that I've actually actually set up my own uh, site manager so you can go into site manager and you can see all that's already here I'm going to click connect and there we go and now what we want to do is we want to go back to um, S2 files which you can see here now we're going to before we do anything over here on the left remember the left side is your computer right side is the server so on the server side you want to navigate to the saves folder it goes uh, shooter game go to saved and saved arts you can see I've already th this is now this is a live server so I can't really edit that much but you'll you'll copy and paste over here and everything that's in the crystal isle save and that including server paintings because if you don't copy that over all your paintings will be white in all the auction houses so that being said you'll select all these and just drag and just drag and drop that's all you gotta do um, once they're dragged and dropped you're done like I, I could do actually you server painting show you how it works um, and you see they come up down here this is gonna come up always use this action for overriding um, you won't get that but just show you that uh, then we're gonna go back to any files and then over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to where it says saved we're gonna go to config we're in the server editor and then we're gonna copy both of these over to here and drop them in once they're dropped in we um, we're done once they're dropped in we can go ahead and close out that and we move on to here um, which we'll go to next thing we'll do once that's done is we want to verify it so we'll click on expert settings now um, once you click on expert settings you just want to verify that the password is correct that's there you can scroll down if you want to the name which should be right there 
DP my DP Grand Adventure. There you go. And everything's there that we're supposed to do. We'll scroll down one more just to check this down here, which there's the the market ID, so we know all that's done. Now that we know that the innies come up, everything that we transferred is there. What we'll want to do now is we'll want to add the mods. Go to Modern Workshop. While that's loading, because it takes a minute to load, you'll come back over to your uh, TOG Season 2 Cluster um, setup guide and you'll copy all your mod IDs. Just copy those. Go back to the workshop, or you know, go back to Nitrato, excuse me highlight everything here you um, also you can just click and then control a it will highlight everything right click and click paste now I'm not going to do that because like I said this is a live server we would not want to change much so everything's already installed once it's done clicks once you've done that click save then all these will populate in now they won't look exactly like this they will actually say there will be a yellow box here a caution box saying this 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 mod will update on the next server restart. So at this point, that is our next option. We click save changes and we start the server. We wait for the server to start, which takes about 10 minutes. Then we stop the server and wait for the server to stop. Once the server stopped, all these will show exactly like this. You'll want to come in here and verify that they all say force update. Um, if they all say force update, we're good. They're all in there, good to go. Then we're going to come over to general. And in general, we're going to take this here, and which it will be set to the island when we start it. But you're, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to click on crystal isles and change that to crystal isles. Click save. And then you're going to want to scroll down through here and do something. You want to make sure battle line back is on. Enable admin logging. logging. Uh, you can set all this to where, to where you want it. Um, all that's... Uh, you can set all this up for your personal gain um, or your personal settings. And all the, most of these down here you set up for your personal settings too, like show uh, floating damage. One I do recommend turning on is prevent spawn animations. It does make it to where if a person dies and gets back in, you know, they they you know they don't have to sit there and look at look at their wrist for 30 seconds. Prevent offline PvP. That's another one that is highly recommended to protect the um, auction houses from getting damaged uh, by wild animals. And that's pretty much it. I mean you can go through and sort of look at these and click the ones you want to use, uncheck the ones you don't, and then click save changes. Once that's done, it'll bring you back to the top. You're going to start your server. And it's going to say, are you sure? You'll click, and you will click start, which I'm not going to start this one right now because we have other things we need to do with it. So you'll start it. So now we are done with this part. Um, if you have any other questions, you can ask in that um, community guide here. Just ask in the comments. There's no comments right now, but you can ask in the comments there. Um, and we will um, we will do our best to answer you. Um, just know that most of this for season two is is advanced level admining. So if you have very little experience with admining, you might want to get a friend or an acquaintance to help you with it because, I mean, it is very robust. And like I said before, if you want to learn it all, make sure you read this design document. You want to read this all the way through and learn it and understand it. And like I said, it's very robust, very strong. Um, a little dry on the reading, I, I admit, most technical manuals are. But that being said, we're all done with that part. Now let's move on. We have one more section to do. Now we're going to move on to the cluster setup, which is fairly easy. So let's say you have another map you want to add to a cluster. And you have your map, which is here. We're, we're, let's say we're on your, your, your map you just set up. It's working like a charm. You have 70 players on it and they're loving it and they're saying well we want another map to go with this one 
And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring your server down. You're going to stop it. And you're going to go into cross arc, which is for clusters down here. Now for cross arc, you're going to want to click to turn on. Once it's turned on, the next thing you want to do is generate new cluster ID. Now we'll say this unique IDs you make yourself will not work with this. It has to be a generated cluster ID by Nitrato. I've already tried it. It doesn't work. So use your own at your own risk. Next thing you want to do is want to make sure these are all unchecked. Make sure your settings look, look just like this. Basically, you want this one checked because that way you don't get people spawning into your server from other servers that are outside of your cluster. And this one right here, the only time you use this is if you want to allow flyers on aberration. So you would check this if you want flyers, you'd uncheck it if you don't. You click save changes here. You're done with that part. Now the next part is setting up the new server. So you're still, at, let's say you're still on your uh, web portal for your new server. I mean, for the server you just set up, it's still down. You're gonna copy this because we remember we generated that ourselves so we copy that now what we're going to do is say we got a new server this is our new server this is our old one we'll, we'll generate new cluster id on this new one just because and now what we want to do is we want to put the id we we made on the first one here there and then we click save You'll want to make sure cross arc is on and the settings are exactly the same as the original here. Once that's done, you click save on both and they're pretty much ready to go. Now I will give you, give you some notations on clusters. Clusters need to have the same exact settings and the same exact mods going across all, all maps that you're going to be using on your cluster. No exception. If you do change this, you will run into issues that can that can corrupt saves and can also cause people to lose items when they're traveling across the arcs. So do that at your own risk. So be that as it may, we are finished. You now have a cluster set up with two servers. Um, we have shown you how to go completely through how to set up a Nitrato server and have it running running well. Um, now you can have people join and all. Now to um, there's some other things that we'll go through on a different video on uh, preparations once this is up. But right now this is pretty much done. All right, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in to this Dragonpunk tutorial. At this time, we would also like to convey our thanks for your continued support uh, for our Dragon Punk team and community. Uh, because, I mean, truthfully, without you guys, there is no Dragon Punk. So, see y'all next time.